Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and today we're on an upscale sport boat, the Formula 240 Bow Rider. I'm going to take it on a full test and see how Formula has done. We'll start our test as every good captain should by opening the hatch and checking the engine. The first thing I notice is that you can still enter and exit the cockpit by way of the non-skid cap rail. To the starboard side, there's storage for the cockpit table and the pedestal base. Drains lead overboard. The entire compartment is gel coated. There's noise suppression under the hatch as well as a courtesy light. There's an access hatch allowing you to reach the pin to release the actuator so you can open the engine hatch in the event of an electrical failure. On the forward bulkhead, the standard automatic discharge fire extinguisher. Two brass ball valves with the hoses double clamped to either side of the small bilge pump. Easy access to both sides for maintenance and certainly the daily engine checks. The helm is a full fiberglass module that drops into position. There are two contoured molds to accommodate the two smart craft gauges. This one includes the standard smart toe. The lower panel has a brushed aluminum look, analog gauges, depth gauge, and trim gauge to either side. I like that there are two drink holders because one inevitably gets used for holding stuff. To the left hand side, remote for the stereo. Lighted waterproof rocker switches are on both sides of the wheel which is mounted to a tilt base. Digital throttle controls I find very comfortable. Auto start and stop, throttle only button, trim to the side. And naturally, there's a comfortable armrest for making incremental engine changes. Our Formula 240 bow rider had a length overall of 24 feet, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a draft of 36 inches. With an empty weight of 5,000 pounds, 54 gallons of fuel on board, and two people, we had a test weight of 5,744 pounds. With a single 430 horsepower Merc Cruiser 8.2 mag engine turning a Bravo 3 outdrive, we reached a top speed of 4,700 RPM and 53.6 miles per hour. At that speed, fuel burn was 32.5 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 89 miles. Best Cruise came in at 3,000 RPM and 31.1 miles per hour. That speed brought the fuel burn down to 10.65 gallons per hour, which the 240 bow rider could keep up for just over 5 hours and 157 miles while maintaining a 10% reserve. Time to plane was 3.6 seconds. We accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds, 30 in 9.2 seconds, 40 in 11.8 seconds, and we continued accelerating through 50 miles per hour in 16.6 seconds. When you hit the throttle, the bow is going to come up 16 degrees, but it'll stay below the horizon so there's no loss of visibility. When you take power off, she'll settle into the water stern first. The bow comes up, but again, no loss of visibility. I like the turning performance of the 240 bow rider. She comes up at a nice angle, and there's a slight slide that accompanies the turn, so it keeps everybody on board comfortable. You've got one, two, and a half turns from lock to lock, so she's very quick to respond to the helm. At no wake speed, I'm looking right at the windshield frame, but in this cruise mode like we have here, the bow's at a five degree bow high attitude, so I'm now looking cleanly through the windshield. Of course, on the bolster, I'm up above it all. Once you get up to cruise speed, you're gonna add just a couple of shots of up trim. That's all you're gonna need. The spray will move from the helm back to the stern quarters and you'll feel a boost in speed. If you go up any further than that, you're gonna start to get operator-induced oscillation. In my opinion, Formula has made a nice runabout that combines sport boat handling with upscale features. And that's our full test of the 240 Bow Rider from Formula Boats. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water. Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and today we're going to be doing a features walkthrough of the 240 Bow Rider from Formula Boats. It's an upscale boat, and the first thing I notice is that there's a non-skid on top of the cap rail so that you can step on from a fixed pier. We'll start our walkthrough at the bow where we have an anchor locker, underneath a four-step beach reboarding ladder, notches to both sides for the ladder, plenty of storage underneath, a stainless steel grab handle, storage under all seats, and look at the room you've got, 26 inches narrowing down to 18 inches. There's more than enough legroom for lounging, a full-length stainless steel grab handle, a contoured bolster so you can actually hold a drink while you're reclining, drink holders, and stainless steel speaker grills. And there's a base for the optional pedestal table. Look at this, no strap and snap on formula boats. There's a latch release to close off the windshield walkthrough, padded so it won't rattle when it's in the closed position. And while it is closed, you can further block off the wind with a lower air dam. 
and with this air dam open, you now have access to the inside of the starboard console. And again, another rubber gasket to prevent the door from rattling. To the port hand side, we have a head. There's three feet, seven inches of sitting headroom, storage to the side, and a stainless grab handle. The grab rail is included with the portable head and CO detector. There are two stainless steel drink holders, a wraparound grab handle, and both the observer as well as the captain get wraparound bucket seats, they swivel slide, and both have flip-up bolsters. The sole storage is accessed under a hatch that is held in position with a stainless steel piano hinge, and I'm a big fan of the latches that Formula uses that simply release by lifting instead of turning. Inside you've got rubber matting draining into the bilge, and you've got clips to hold not only the nav lights, but the posts for underneath the canvas. The hatch is held open by a gas assist strut and there are gutter drains both forward and aft. As we move aft, there's L-shaped seating surrounding the pedestal for the standard table. Under the port side, storage for a 25-quart carry-on cooler and a fire extinguisher. Additional storage is under the aft seat. A small seat just behind the helm gives you additional storage inside the activator switch for the fire extinguisher in the engine compartment, battery switch, and the main breaker panel. To the stern, a double-wide aft-facing rumble seat, 42 inches wide, easily converts to a sun pad. At the entryway to the cockpit, there's a stainless steel grab handle. The step is elevated 14 inches. Let's take a look at the features of the swim platform. To the starboard side, stereo remote control, courtesy lights, a concealed three-step reboarding ladder, a socket for a ski toe pylon, to the port side, additional courtesy lights, head pump out, and the lights to control both the exterior courtesy lights and the interior lights. Formula logo cast, pull-up cleats to either side. Trunk storage for lines and fenders. Well, that's our features walkthrough of the Formula 240 Bow Rider. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.